Hello everyone, this is the Panda Photographer. I am known as Kiki Alexander Dinitja Bailitz. I am a photographer that travels around quite a bit. So what kind of hotel service do I use or what kind of hospitality service that I use? Well, I am a member of the International High Hostel. So the High US organization here is a nonprofit 501c3 organization and they have hostels across America but internationally they also have those in other countries as well but we are going to just focus on the Madison High Madison hostel here in the downtown area of Madison so it's just literally two blocks from the capital it's convenient and it's affordable and it's really really a nice place to stay keep in mind there are rules and there are policies so keep in mind please do follow these rules and follow these policies and please take this video with a grain of salt if I mispronounce or miss uh, said anything please correct me in the comments down below but here is the entrance you cannot miss it it's 141 South Butler Street Madison Wisconsin 53703 so just take a walk inside so this is the door and you can see the address 141 and let's go inside and let me fix the exposure for you quickly here so you guys can see what's going on all right so if you make a reservation here at the high Madison or any hostel if you're going to be late some hostels do close their hours like this one here please call in advance it's important that you do call in advance to make sure that you don't get charged for the night in most cases they probably won't charge you and i understand and they will probably understand certain certain things happen when you're flying and traveling you are late buses are late trains are late and we understand and they will understand that even i am late and as a member of the international hostel it's a great place but anyway here are the rules here are the hours and after 10 there is the number so therefore you have no complaints whatsoever about the situation and right on to your left is where you can take your shoes off and if you want to leave your shoes there that's fine and if you don't then you can put them in your room but they do ask nicely to please remove your shoes before entering because it is a rug and nice wooden area and around the hostel they try to keep the hostel clean as possible if you do bring a vehicle or a car please let the front desk know and there's a key code lock on the front door so each person that checks in gets a different code for their room that code works for this door this door locks at 10 10 o'clock p.m. at night I stress this enough please do not let anyone else in the building or in the house after 10 if they don't have the reservation they are not staying here please do not open the door this door must be closed after 10 at all times so you guys have a good idea how this really works and it's for your safety okay the Madison Hospital is a very safe place it's great so Let's take the tour. And let me fix the exposure for you guys really quickly. It is actually pretty dark. All right, I'll increase it to ISO 400 here. Sorry if the footage looks a little grainy, but just want to show you the bulletin board, how to get to whatever places here. So this is a full board of all the places and events that's going on in Madison. So you can use this as a, a guide or where to go because they can tell you the directions how to get to like the Dane Kenny Farmers Market or the Campus Randall Stadium or the Governor's Large State Park or the Interstate or just the Madison Public Library which is right on the opposite side of the of the capital but as you can see there are the rules and they try to let you guys know that you must read these rules and please keep the door locked as you can see all the stuff is here and here is 
the entryway, there's one stairway and another stairway in the back. So there's multiple exits here. Actually, there's like four exits here uh, in total. One in the basement, one in the front that we just came through, one in the side here, and the other one in the back. So office. When you check in, this is the office. And as you can see, it's a beautiful office. Let me increase and in, in decrease that exposure for you. Sorry, but as you can see, this is the office. You check in. You can see the number. Uh, right now, Eva is working right now, and she has the phone. She's doing rooms right now and is doing the sheets and cleaning. Every day, the sheets are cleaned. And there's AC units everywhere to keep you guys cool when it's hot days. And there is a computer here to do whatever you need to do, but book tickets and so forth, so forth if you don't have a laptop or a tablet or whatnot. But comfortable seating, as you can see. And there's a lot of plant life around, but there are private rooms and dorm rooms. They range from, the dorm rooms range from 29 to $36. If you're not a member, it, if you're not a member, it can, it's a $3 charge when you're not a member of the international hostel. So keep that in mind. And free pens, there's towels, and there's a laundry mat. Yes, there is a laundry facility downstairs in the basement. And as you can see, it, let me increase the exposure for you guys really quickly. There's a lot of games here. Actually, let me just uh, fix that exposure for you. A lot of games here. You can play card games, chess, ping out everything else like that. So, now this is the hangout living room here. As you can see, very comfortable. Very nice. And there is an antique piano. So, if you guys are interested in the piano, you can play the piano. And what do you know? There's a TV. Yes, there is internet and Netflix and everything that you can do on the TV. So there is a TV here for your amusement or entertainment. And there's free Wi-Fi. Yes, there is free Wi-Fi. And as you can see, the beautiful uh, artwork on the walls, the paintings, as you can see it, really nice. So and there is cameras everywhere. So keep in mind, this is a safe place. It, the place is always being monitored so here is the wall your journey is the destination there's a bunch of other stuff that you want might you might like because for me I'm a recycler and think this is very important for the hostel to have and this is where people can hang out and enjoy themselves and talk and get to know each other as a community because the hostel is a community house so it's very important that you be very talk if you make sure that people know your your belongings and people n normally look out for each other here so and here's a full kitchen that's why I have this wide angle lens on full kitchen mind-blowing so rules about the kitchen wash the dish here wash the dish then rinse then sanitize then you can put it on the rack okay but the cool part about everything is that we the hostel has I keep saying we for some reason because I, I really like the hostel here but uh, I've been coming here for a, a long time every once a year they have plates and bowls frying pans mugs and cups glasses oh I add the shot glasses there if you guys can't see that <laughs> coffee filters for coffee there's free breakfast free coffee free pancakes and Pre microwave, conventional microwave. This is a 1600 watt microwave. I know it because uh, we have one back home in Osaka. But here, all those spices and stuff like that, you can guys can use for free. It's open to everyone. And there is a stove. And there's the counter. There's a lot of stuff that you can use. There's a lot of cool uh utensils and knives and spoons and silverware all over the place so this place has a lot so you can store your foods here that doesn't need to be refrigerated like the basil plants i got for everyone can use and i like to eat the basil uh it's really good for you but anyway bunch of stuff and the community refrigerator oh let me turn down the exposure really quickly here pretty damn bright 
All right, so the community picture editor, the rules. If you're gonna be staying here, label them with your name, the date that you're departing, so everyone knows not to touch your food. If you leave your food and you're not here anymore, they will put a ticket on it. It says free, so everyone can eat. So here's the refrigerator. Uh, I keep fixing the light bulb in this refrigerator. It keeps going out. Uh, I think I fixed it, so it's pretty good now. But everyone's stuff is here. Um, yeah, so label your food. It's a freezer, fresh water. I gotta throw this water out for everyone because it's gonna be a hot day today. So I always prepare water for everyone. Just so let it sit out and melt naturally. But here's a men's bathroom. Oh, let me increase that exposure. There's a men's bathroom here, so you guys can see it. And there is a bathroom right by the office here. It's a unisex bathroom, so it's a sec another bathroom for men. So the men come downstairs to use the bathroom or to shower, okay? And use the bathroom. There's a sink a unisex bathroom upstairs, which I'll show you shortly, but we get that in a moment. So this is the exit. This is the women's room, number nine. There is a laundry room, which we are going downstairs. Not the best laundry room guys, but it's a basement and it works. So the laundry is here for your for your needs. It's 24-7. There's an exit, but don't ever go out this exit. That's an emergency exit, so keep that in mind. Only use it for prior uh, emergencies only. So we're gonna go back up from the basement. And we're gonna go to the second floor. Sorry about the over the explosion because the sun is popping in and out because it's been rainy days late late here. Oh, let me fix that focus. Now we are on the second floor. And my friends, this is one of the private rooms that you can rent. Comes with a little refrigerator over there. Nice bed, Kyle just put it together yesterday. Looks wonderful and This is a uh, six-man dorm, number three. And as you can see, it's a six-man dorm. Guys are a little messy, but that's my bed. My bed is always made. <laughs> so it's, uh, there's a table here. Let me just turn on the line so you guys can see. There's a table here. And AC in every room. So remember that there's an AC unit in every room. So you should be nice and cool. Or if you want a ton of temperature, you like to sleep in kind of warm temperature, that's fine. This is for the staff. So this is the staff's uh, inventory. So please do not touch. This is the unisex bathroom, as you can see. So it's one bathroom. There's notes all over the place that tells you, please do not do this and do not overflow the toilet. This is an old house. It's a very unique house, by the way. This is the women's bathroom here with the red curtains. Only for women. Do you understand? Only for women. Do not, men, go into this bathroom. You will be scorched. This is number four. This is a um, four dorm room. I'm not sure if anyone is in there right now, so we're just going to wait and see that. But as you can see, lots of beautiful uh, artwork on the wall. And there's, like I said, there's security cameras everywhere, so it's a safe place, and et cetera, et cetera. There's another private guest room here, two bedroom. Uh, there's a women's six dorm room here. So there's six women sleeping uh, in there as well and there's another guest room upstairs in the upstairs and this is one of the guest rooms here it's pretty nice right let me fix that exposure for you guys pretty nice pretty decent and lovely color i have to say it. but anyway uh this is number eight this is a storage closet so yep but storage closet extra blankets on the side there more stuff to come 
and as you can see it preface rooms you can see the map of the rooms and a beautiful view not sure you guys can see that beautiful view outside walk two blocks away from the capital this is one of the other private rooms here increase that exposure again I'm gonna mess with the exposure every single time guys I'm using movie pro so I like to do things a little bit manually right? but and then there is the stairs that go right back down to the office so so you guys have a good idea there's emergency alarms here in the corner and alarms so everything is up to date and Kyle is the new manager you know, most of you guys know Carlos and Robert we know Carlos and Robert but we don't really know Kyle very well he's been here for about a year and a half now I guess so upstairs is number one this oh let me fix that exposure that's another private room there there's a guest stay in there so we can't really show you the room but it's really nice trust me it's nice and as a former UW student coming here every year once a year it's a great place to stay it's affordable a lot of these hotels are ridiculously overpriced for such a ridiculous stay and and I really hope that you guys like the tour of the hostel and check out the men's bathroom really quickly I didn't show you that but I turn on the light you can see my mug mirror shower clean bathroom clean floors every day the staff is cleaning the hostel 24 hours well 8 to 10 p.m. every day free breakfast like I said toasters it's a beautiful hostel so let's go back outside and show you it I appreciate you guys staying in tune to watching this uh, uh, video on the High Madison Hostel here and I hope the, Mad the High US Hostel understands that this is a great place but I have some ideas that can better this place and I love the staff here they are pretty much amazing now if you are going to smoke if you're a smoker if you are going to smoke Please smoke either in front of here or on the side where there's a cigarette uh, disposal on the side. Like I said, there's parking back there for those that do have vehicles or in the front. They will give you a parking permit while your stay is here. So keep that in mind. But this used to be Lila's. So please pick up the cigarette butts if you are going to be smoking. Please, I stress this enough. I've been cleaning you guys' secret butts since I got here. I understand secret, but you should dispose it the correct way. But as you can see, this is overexposed by so much. So I am going to increase the shutter speed really quickly so it's not too damn overexposed. But thank you for watching, everyone. This has been a walkthrough of the High Madison international hostel in so if you guys want to stay here please i leave the links down below you can make reservations they go fast because they're really cheap because a lot of these places are 300 279 300 dollars a night at a hotel so no offense how you the the hilton the ac hotel but the hostel is really designed for those travelers, those international folks or students that are coming here to UW and want to get a place to stay and try to find a housing. This is just like a temporary situation. You can live in 14 days at the max, but it is up to the manager to the senior state if you are in need of some assistance. So if you have the money and you want to stay a little longer, just ask the Kyle the manager here he's a cool ass dude by the way cool dude sorry for the language but he's a cool dude really hip and he's always looking out for everyone and every time he comes downstairs he's always asking people do we need anything he's willing to go out and buy stuff and hook you guys up so please respect the man and please if you're late call the number but with that said thank you for watching 
and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.